I hope you are well. Welcome to autumn. Skipper is ready for the leaves to fall and for things to start progressing because I've been getting a thing about autumn all year and I've heard lots of people talking about it, especially Halloween. The things are changing and things are coming forward. Things that you've wanted are going to start coming to fruition and I'm money, money, money. I'm hearing that some money, money, money. <laughs> so lots coming in. So we've got Skipper. Still think you need a wash, but you know, I'll get round to it. So he's overlooking the reading today. Penguin of Madagascar. So I've got some uh, things to say first. And I want to say a big thank you to my new subscribers, especially those of you coming off uh, the uh, World Messages and uh, Predictions uh, channel at Sarah Cohen Ross. Check that out if you want to. Thank you very much for that. Uh, if you'd like a personal reading from me, you can do that. All the links are in the description. I also do coaching. Okay, so check that out. So we have a frosty reception, deceit, something about deceiving yourself, uh, on the run from fate. So there's something you're resisting. This will come to pass. Two plus two equals four. Is this what you really want? Something to think about there. Going somewhere, tidy up the mess first. So I don't know if somebody wants to leave um, a situation, relationship. But they've got to tidy something up first. Make something clear. Put in boundaries. Three's a crowd. Oh, that lesson will repeat. Okay, three's a crowd. And then I have uh, the names William James. Grandad Bob, and I have the devil comes to town, which is relevant for somebody out there. They know who it is. It's the, this is how they refer to somebody, possibly in their family. The devil comes to town. It's a grandmother figure. Or it's a grandmother figure that he's thinking that about somebody. I don't know. Okay, and then I've got Arkansas, Montana, London District, and Mortimer as places so uh yeah i'm seeing a lot of cats at the moment it was very funny this morning um my uh um son uh came in i just gotten up we're gonna have coffee and uh he opened the curtains here and there was this, he went oh my god and it was a ginger cat sitting right outside the door and yesterday we had one come down to our little area out the front and um out of the blue so there's something about using your intuition okay using your intuition i can see skipper just looking at the screen that's really funny <laughs> right let's have a look these little themes we're back in here um because i feel more comfortable in here at the moment but you want that one I keep putting a light on this ritual and this number 10 the end of something 10 years it's been 10 years the ritual has to end interesting okay i love it when they do that you i thought we wanted these cards okay the sun's definitely coming out if you end this ritual the sun will come out the sun is coming out something's coming out to an end a horrible cycle is coming to an end Something that you've had to go deep diving into yourself and to learn about. It is coming to an end. The sun is coming out in the autumn. Com something coming in with a harvest. Okay, look, activation. Humans discovering fire in Africa. So this we could be talking to an Aries here, a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Okay, uh, activating the fire within you. You may have those... Um, Star signs in your chart somewhere. Uh, I'm getting the 11th house for somebody. Time to activate. Time to bring all those ideas that you've pushed to the back forward and start. This is love as well. Start going out there, putting yourself out there. It's speed dating I'm getting for Joanne. Uh, you've been thinking about it. It's a perfect time to do it. Something happening at Christmas. I keep, keep showing me. I can physically see 
Okay, Spirit, and I often see a sleigh going around, so uh, there's something happening at Christmas. A pre Christmas present comes early. That could be your baby coming early. That actually happened to me. So <laughs> my son was supposed to come on the 10th of January. This is going to happen to somebody. And uh, came on my... I knew, I just felt that he was going to come um, earlier. And um, I knew he was going to be a Christmas baby. And he came on Christmas Eve at 1.15 in the morning. I have not forgotten. It was hell. <laughs> but on my favourite day of the year. So there you go. And we have stillness. Somebody needs to be still. Meditate. Find out where you want to go. You've been confused lately. Um, that's deliberate because you've got to work out where you really want to go, not where you think you want to go, where you think other people would want to go, want you to go and to where you think other people will validate you. You've got to concentrate on how you would validate yourself. It's also on the show me playing with putting the um, mask on first. So maybe somebody else involved in this. This could be a couple of marriage. Uh, your decisions affect somebody else. And it's about. I don't know. There's a situation where you have to help somebody. You could be a carer as well. And it's all about putting the oxygen mask on yourself first before you go to help this other person. Something about stillness. Meditating. That's cherry blossom. Isn't that February or March in Japan? So there could be something about February or March here. Okay. Where do you want me to go here? All right. cat may be trying to get your attention you may be seeing cats as well um spiritual message that's your higher self now that's really interesting i mean asked to mention it um basically i'm watching i love k dramas okay i love korean dramas they're so much fun the stories are a lot better than ours at times i have to say um and they blend a lot of the supernatural with hard crime drama and with humour. And it's fantastic how they do it. And there is a, a programme I'm watch, watching called Night and Day. Um, and it is called Night and Day, not Day and Night. And basically this young woman, uh, she's desperately trying to get a job all the time and she can't. And this cat turns, uh, turns her into an older woman. OK, so she gets the job as an older woman, as in she's, you know, uh, like a retired woman type thing. Um, and she gets the job, this job, and then it leads to other things. But at night time, she change, changes back into her younger self. And of course, there's romantic relationships. There's a lot, you know, but it's all centered around this cat. So there's something about a cat showing you who you really are showing that you have to make changes use your intuition it's almost like connecting with your older self who can give you wisdom and advice as to how to move forward now you may have had that experience where your older self is coming i've i've seen my younger self come and see me sit on the bed and that was just whoa, weird and i've heard about other people as well they've actually met met them uh, so there could be something to do with time travel here. We are using the time travellers um, oracle card here. But there's something about a cat that is trying to get your attention to give you a message. This also could be an ancestor, passed on loved one who's come in the form of a cat to help you awaken to something that's lying dormant within you that you now have to activate. OK, pretty precise. So your intuition knocking on your door let me in and there we go confirmation wisdom is coming forward you're being given a gift of wisdom i'm seeing like a librarian somebody may be researching something you're wearing glasses and researching being very diligent um i mean if you look at that cat the cat's sitting on computer so there's something about research you may have to research something okay Yeah, continuance. You need to continue something that you're already doing. Okay, that's going to bring you prosperity. Number 26 is relevant. On the door, somebody's door. I've just got the Chinese word for apple. 
see if I can get bingo. Don't know why I had to say that. Something about an apple. There could be temptations around you as well. Be aware of temptations trying to knock you off your path. And you're activating a new path. But something or someone is trying to tempt you off it to hold you back. It could be yourself because of fear. Um, fear could be holding you back. 26 is relevant. Francis name there because if you stay on this path you will get to happiness okay you will get to happiness okay you want one of these right i'll go on to the viking oracle which is all about the runes to so say i don't know these too well so we're gonna go with what it says in the book but i've been asked to do one so Interesting. Scaddy. So now, look at the wolf here. Some of you may be a lone wolf. I get a very Queen of Swords uh, with that. Um, call, there's some, could be somebody called around you, holding back, not giving information, looking like they're blank, not um, coldness, freezing cold. There's somebody who's passed. I don't know. Freezing cold. Uh, somebody has a spirit animal, a wolf. There's a wolf. I heard it's been leading you down the wrong path. Deliberately so that you can see the right one. So the right one will appear. Making you very... Um... Oh my God, that's wild. <gasps> oh! Right, okay, so I don't know a lot about Native American stuff, but um, I know that I can't remember which ones it is. It could be in all of them. I don't know, but somebody out there, well, that means, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. I can't get the words. I don't know the language, but that I can hear that in my head, and there's somebody standing here, and they're, they're dressed up with a wolf's head on top, um, a spirit, so it could be a um, a spirit guide that you have. Hi, oh, yeah, oh, oh, yeah. They've been leading you on the right, wrong, right or wrong path. Let's get wrong path, okay? They've been leading you on the wrong path deliberately, so that you see the right one emerge. I I don't know. Maybe it's to get you frustrated uh, where you start using your own intuition. But there's been a sort of wolf shadiness around you and that's been deliberate. So you see the right path start to materialise. You could have had a vision quest. Um, I don't know who I'm talking to. But it's, qu it's quite sp specific. Um, you, you may well have Native American ancestors. can't get the words i don't oh it might be just a i don't know but they're all dressed up and they've got a staff they could be shaman shaman could be somebody like that medicine doctor so but it's from native american oh yeah, oh yeah maybe you're having to come into your healing gifts there's something coming um interesting we got that from the runes <laughs> but that's what thank you um and then moving out that's really important for someone out there to so activation native american heritage quite possibly or could be a guide around you william my god fort william i know there's a fort william in scotland i love fort william in scotland i've been there since i was a kid but i love it um and we've got another one here loki we've got a trickster spirit here and that one and that one's upside down so i'm gonna have i'm gonna read what it says about this because yeah we need some grounding going on that one was just there and i have no idea why um <coughs> somebody's not speaking their truth somebody needs to stand up and assert themselves and stick up for themselves and you've been bullied here by a family member you need to speak your truth where the heck is the little book gone oh no Sorry, it gets a bit hectic with all these birds coming in. 
and when you can physically see them and see them in your mind then you can hear them that's quite whoa okay so 34 my army hmm. okay know yourself it is the most important of life's work Ex it express your independence let authenticity be your guide compromise is part of every relationship but when compromise pushes you to be someone you are not a change should be made there is an easier way to do things speak plainly say somebody's not speaking speaking up because this person could be called or you I've had this experience myself. Feel like that around somebody. You don't think you can see. If you see anything, they might explode or they may cause a problem for you. But you need to speak your truth. And you're trying to hold it all in when they're around. But you're being guided. Um, you also have a wolf as a protector. Someone, Native American. If there's something about we need to look that up. I'm going to look that up. Um, so we've got Loki here as well. So trickster spirit. Trickster might be revealing things to you. Okay. So we've got Loki. Develop your gifts of oration and clear speech. It's about talking. Um, play more often. Laughter is a is a God's given gift. There may be someone in your life that isn't what they seem. Try a more light light hearted approach. So there could be somebody who um, likes to play a lot, likes to be, has the gift of the gab, as they say up north, um, likes to, they think they know a lot, knows how to talk somebody around into doing something. And they always get you to do things that you don't want them, that, that you don't want to do. And then you, oh, I can see you caught me out again. Uh, he, she, they, whoever, right? Um, why playing them at their own game? They will, they will stop then. They will see huh, that they've pushed you. I think they like to press your buttons and get the rise. It, it's fun for them. Um, okay, so the next one we have. Now, horse often means uh, um, spirit of adventure, moving forward, getting in the race, okay? Uh, but this one was upside down, Okay. So we're going to have a look, and that's, uh, I can never say, who was, it was, I'm not saying that right, I know I'm not. Okay, I've got a chirp in bed. I had a very odd dream last night, this uh, situation for me, and normally I see robins, maybe that you're seeing birds, if I mention it, it's relevant to someone, you may be seeing birds, um, these uh, birds can bring messages for you. They can be passed on loved ones, guides, whatever. Uh, a spirit told them, well, you know, animals, whatever. But I always see a robin. If I'm out, I see robins as a warning because of the red breasts. Okay. And in my dream last night, I, it was like I saw a page in a book and there were all robins all over. I got, I'm not going to go into what the situation is, but basically... That's my warning. So you may be seeing animals. You may be seeing a blackbird. Somebody's seeing a blackbird. And then I've just heard beware the devil comes to town. I don't know if somebody or grandmother figure or something. If you see a blackbird, it means the devil's come to town or something or a crow. I don't know. It's a warning about somebody coming that you didn't expect. That's just going to land on you. And they, oh, they never have a good word to say. And they come with news that you're not going to like this time. Beware, be prepared. Oh, okay, so let's have a look at this one. This is number 19. Take, oh no, that's the up, up side one. Okay, yeah. Stop resisting. What is, is. What has happened is done. Accept it and move on. Wiser for the experience and with a positive positive outlook. Okay. 
So it's time to move on from something. Somebody's tricking you. It could be somebody from the past. I'm getting a different message now. Somebody from the past who didn't allow you to speak. It had to do all the, everything had to be there. We are the highway. You need to speak up. You need to set your boundaries and see no. Okay. I'm getting something about skinwalker here. I don't fully understand the skinwalker thing, but a trickster, a man of many faces. Um, there's somebody in your life that's a trickster that this is a diff slightly different message now for someone. Um, so remember it's general, it's not gonna resonate with everyone. Um sorry, is the spirit trying to look there? Uh it could be distractions here. Um, trickster spirits. Something about skinwalker, you may be researching skinwalker, something like that, for a little documentary that you're doing. I don't know what that's all about. Um, look into your Native American ancestry. I don't know if you've done an ancestry thing. You may be finding that out. But they're trying to warn you as well about a trickster around you. A person, a man with many faces. Okay, that's very, very interesting. Okay, um, where would you like me to go? I'll go here and then we'll sign off. third house communication there's something you have to communicate this could be going on youtube facebook anything is something you have to communicate to the world as well something very important and you have to communicate about uh, your needs in particular and we've got the birds here again you're at something somebody's got the ancestors coming it's birds now in one of the readings i got on my other channel which does um angel messages um, I'm going to do animal messages and all sorts on there and um, disturbing messages. There was something about a bird tapping on a window. It was some reading I did somewhere um, had a bird tapping on a window. I put all the links to these channels in the description. You can also um, watch videos about my spooky life and all the spirits that around me. I've just seen somebody going like that. <laughs> oh, leave me alone. I've got lots to do. Um, right, okay, and um, we have Mercury, messages. You have messages to give. This is not about them coming in, this is about you have messages to give. I've got lights coming down here. There's something about what you're writing, what you're doing. This is content creation, something like that. Uh, it's important messages, and I still keep saying this Native American. Skinwalker could be an ancestor that you're writing about, I, I don't know. Chiron, it's time to heal the past and move on. Something has kept you stuck. It's time to face your fears and move on. Activation. You're going to find some triggering moments that are going to help get you off this path, wrong path. You've seen it. You've been taken down this road to be shown that it's the wrong path. Now you see the right one. It was the only way to help, help you see. Okay, Neptune, vision. Again, vision quest scene. You may be getting clairvoyant powers. You may be uh, having dreams where you see all that you need to see to move on, to uh, to give these messages to people. Yeah, this is going to take you to your prosperity, to uh, the pinnacle of your creation. I don't know what this, fulfilling your potential. Uh, getting you to where you want to be all goals achieved wow on that note i'm gonna leave it there so it's positive <laughs> i hope you've enjoyed that reading and it's helped you if you want a personal reading i do psychic medium development coaching i do um angel communication coaching as well i'm going to be offering other services soon i'm going to be writing courses Oh, so much to do. If you would like just to chat about your experiences, something like that, let me know. Um, if there's any other sort of content that you would like to see me do as well, please put a note in the comments and um, can have a look at that as well. Um, yeah, please check out my other channels and take care of yourselves. Thank you for subscribing, sharing, commenting and supporting the channel. Take care of yourselves and I shall see you next time. Bye.